thing, call police. Our other top story tonight, the Detroit police officer caught on camera throwing a punch in Greek town is off the job tonight. And the guy who caught that painful punch in the face is now talking. He and two others have now come forward to talk about what happened to them on the street Saturday night. Grant Herms has been working this story all day. Uh, uh, Grant, I guess they want to just set the record straight. Yeah, Devin, Kimberly, those men today clearly in pain as they told their side of the story about what led up to that video that has been seen far and wide here. It started here behind me, then ended up over in the street here, and that's where that punch was thrown. The men today saying they want that officer punished, even though he has been suspended. They want something more, they say, and for the first time, they're implicating other officers in this incident. 37-year-olds Marcus Alston and Antoine Hardy next to Antoine's brother Antonio at a press conference in Southfield saying the incident was more complicated than the video now gone viral. Most of it I didn't remember. I don't even remember being punched. In the video, Alston getting punched and knocked out. But just minutes before, the Hardy brothers saying they had tried to step into another fight between police and several people leaving a nearby club. When they say they tried to find out what was going on, they say they were punched, arrested, and ticketed. Alston was never ticketed or arrested despite DPD protocol. At various, like, to see, like, and the craziest part about it, because I thought he was overreacting. Like, I never knew he got punched. In a meeting Thursday for police commissioners, interim chief James White saying the officer seen punching Alston has been suspended. This incident is unacceptable and it gives me great concern and it erodes the work that these men and women do on a day in and day out basis. The men suffering serious injuries, putting them in back and leg braces, visibly wincing as they moved, saying today they're worried about more than physical harm done. That type of stuff should not happen to nobody. You don't know the type of stress that I'm going through. How many of my kids, children I've coached that have seen this, and now you know you don't know what's going through their mind. Look what happened to Coach Marcus. That can happen to me one day. Now the men say that the other things that they are alleging were caught here on the dozens of security cameras up and down Greektown. They say that will back up their story. In the meantime, Interim Chief White is saying that the supervising police officers who were here that night are also being looked at as a part of that internal investigation for maybe not following department protocol. He's expected to have a press conference tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. Back to you. Well, Grant, for these three men, uh, where does this go next for them? Well, so far, there's been no mention or discussion, at least not with us, about a possible lawsuit. They say they are working with internal investigators at DPD and actually have commended interim chief White on his response on this so far. Yeah. All right, Grant.